We're at the back of the Silverton Cemetery. You can see the stone wall over there to the right is where we parked. We've come back almost to the back fence. And there's these graves just dotted around. Not very many headstones. Some amazing iron work. Francis O'Grady. O oh, wife, my dear, don't weep for me, for I'm not dead but sleeping here. Short was my life, long is my rest. God took me when he thought it best. Age 24, a bit young, I think. Apparently there was a lot of typhoid, a lot of mining accidents. There's another one up here. Unmarked and Harry Lionel, beloved son of Edmund and Annie Woods, aged five months and five days. Right. And then as we just walk back towards the front gates, see what happens. Day, I'm assuming there's more graves here than a what mark. Four years, fourteen years, seventeen years. The beloved sons of John and Mary Harding. John age 62, Mary lived to 88, and their brother Frederick only 29, passed away suddenly age 61. 
fun. Age seven years. William, age forty. This one's lived to the ripe old age of sixty-eight and died eleventh of June, eighteen eighty-eight. And then it's not going to anybody else was buried here. The pioneer of Silverton and District, John Stokey, born at Geelong. I don't think there's any more out that way. Age 23. A lot of unmarked ones, aren't there? See a monument over there on the other side of that fence. It's weird. This is William Thomas John, I think. Five years and three months. Cemetery, which is absolutely massive. This is nothing. Okay, so this is recent. This is 07. So 08. And 
All right, now we'll see what this monument is. Uh, that's it, all, all I can see. Obviously, not too many people want to be buried at Stilton these days. Stanley Woodruff. So that's 2010. Alright, that's it for the Silverton Cemetery, New South Wales, just over the border from South Australia and Ghost Town.